sometimes in life, it's good to be a connoisseur. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. Uh, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that uh, we design gear here, right? I've designed a chest rig called the Spectre that I'm very proud of. I've designed a, a bandolier. I got some more stuff coming down the pipe. So, you know, I design gear. It's one of the things that I do. And I was at an expo recently and uh, I was um, hawking my wares to this expo, right? So I had my, my stuff laid out on the table. And talking to people over two days of coming through this expo and looking at my stuff and whatever, I think I realized something. Um, and I didn't really realize this before, but my gear is designed by a user of gear, me, for users of gear, hopefully you, right? I designed my stuff to be used. Uh, and I realized that because I had a lot of people coming through to look at, look at stuff and I don't think that they really use their gear much um, because I just I just got the impression that maybe they have like a you know an old Alice rig or something which is fine by the way it's totally functional um, or like some Condor chest rig which again you know I mean do what you gotta uh, but the main problem being that they don't actually use it they might have it for a rainy day with maybe a rifle that maybe has a hundred rounds through it or something you know maybe not <laughs> maybe less than that. Uh, but, but they're not actually like getting out and using gear, right? Like I'm, I am taking classes every year. I'm teaching classes. I'm, I'm getting out and running my gear. I'm training with my boys. Like, like, I'm then I, then I get out there and I'm like, well, you know, it'd actually be helpful if this just, you know, did over here. And if we just had a, you know, like, and that's, that's where my, that's where it comes from. Cause I'm getting out there and just putting dirt and time and wear on my stuff. And that's helping me to determine what, what is the next best step and what I need to do. And so as I'm there and I'm, I'm learning through this and I'm talking to these people at this expo, I'm just realizing that I don't think a lot of people use their stuff. Um, I, I don't think a lot of these people are actually using, using their gear. And on one hand, that makes me sad. Um, on the other hand, like I get it. I understand people are people and time and whatever, and it's not everybody's thing. Like it's my thing and, and whatever. But I wanted to encourage you guys to be users of your gear, right? I, I, I know that, you know, sometimes I'm sending these chest rigs into New York and California and into bigger cities in these places. And that's great. I'm glad you guys have that. I hope you love it. I hope it, it does well for you. Get out there and use it, right? I'm asking you to go find some time, to take some classes, to get some field time, put some dirt on those things and use it. Uh, my gear is designed to be used. All gear should be designed to be used. You need to use it. You need to do it. And that's one, how you're going to learn what gear works for you. And two, that is going to, that's how you learn to get better. <laughs> like if you're not actually practicing, you're not going to get better. That, that seems pretty straightforward and simple, but I just think a lot of us, we don't, right? Like I hope, hopefully you're doing your dry fire, right? Do your dry fire. Hopefully you're, you're reading some books, right? You're, Hey, I have a book right here. Hopefully you're reading some nice books like the ones that I wrote and other books. There's lots of good books out there. I've done a ton of book reviews in this channel. Um, hopefully you're, you're, you're doing all that stuff, but you've got to get out. You've got to put your feet on the ground and you've got to go do it. And I don't mean to sound like some gun tuber person who just says that because that's what we're supposed to say. I just had firsthand experience with this recently where, where people, I'm getting the impression they don't, they don't shoot. They're not practicing. They're not training. They're not they're not doing any of the stuff. And so they come by they look at my table and they walk on because they don't see value in it because they don't use it. And, and which is fine. I'm not, I'm not mad at those people. I'm just saying like they don't use it and they don't see value or purpose in it. You know, if, if I, if I showed you like some super fancy, um, I don't know, drill, like, like for drilling, boring into the earth to lay down gas pipelines. Right. And I'm like, well, this machine here costs $500,000. He'd be like $500,000 for what? Cause you don't bore gas pipeline into the, into the earth. Right. So what do you care? It doesn't, it doesn't have value. You don't use it. You don't understand its purpose and intent. You know what kind of time it saves you, et cetera, et cetera. I don't even know if that machine exists. I don't, I don't bore into the earth either for gas pipeline. So I'm just spitballing here. But my point being, right. You don't understand its use, intent and purpose because you don't do that job. And so I think the same way as citizen soldiers, as everyday people who want to embrace our martial American heritage, we've got to get out. We've got to spend the time when we can 
we gotta train with our boys, we gotta go to classes, we gotta do this stuff so that we can be better, so that we can understand uh, what gear works for us and what gear doesn't, and that we can be prepared if we ever need to be to, to do what we gotta do and you know embrace our second amendment and do that American thing. So, again, this is just an encouragement, this is something for you to step back and think and think, hey, have I put some dirt on my gear recently, right? I, I got some uh, a stainless steel or titanium water bottle recently because I want to do a little compare and contrast, and I'll probably do a video on it at some point and you know see what the uses are. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of giddy and excited to like put them in a fire for the first time because at least the titanium will get that cool little hues on the bottom, you know, from getting heated up, and uh, just be like, oh yeah, I actually I use this stuff. I'm I'm capable. <laughs> I'm not an idiot, right? It doesn't just sit in my shelf. So get out there. Use your gear, practice, get better. We need you boys. We need you more now than we ever have. Do brave deeds and endure.